The ankle and foot mobility is often undervalued, but the available movement in your knees, ankles, and feet translates to your upper body and how much tension the rest of your body needs to use in order to get through your day. So by spending a few minutes in these exercises each day, you'll gain some more flexibility in your ankles and feel results throughout your entire body. So the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna either hold on to a wall or maybe even a broomstick, and we're just gonna focus on raising up to the ball of our foot on both feet before slowly lowering back down. At first, this might feel challenging, so come up only to your comfort level and coming down slow and even. So we're up on the ball of our foot, letting our toes spread out before lowering back down. As this becomes easier, you'll be able to do one foot with all of your weight on that one foot and lowering it back down, coming up onto the other foot and lowering it back down. When you've progressed, you may be able to do this completely without one foot on the ground and maybe not. The second exercise that's gonna help to improve our knee, ankle, and foot mobility are skiers. So we're gonna be standing with our body weight evenly between our feet. We're gonna give a slight bend to our knees and we're gonna bend them off to the side, keeping our whole foot on the ground and then coming back to neutral. And then we're gonna to ski to the other side, trying to keep our foot as connected to the ground as we go to each side feeling the bend in the ankle joint. Only coming down as far as you are comfortable doing so without your heels wanting to lift off. So keeping those full foot planted on the ground, toes spread, knees coming to one side and then the other. And the final exercise for foot, ankle, and knee mobility is to begin working to lift your toes off of the ground. So at first, just learning to lift all 10 toes, including that little baby toe, all the way off of the ground, and then setting them back down. Lifting all of the toes and setting them all back down. As you become more advanced with this, you can learn to lift just your outside toes while keeping your big toe implanted or lifting the big toe while keeping, maybe, oh, there we go, lifting the big toe while keeping the other toes planted and putting it back down, alternating, lifting different parts of your foot.